What's it going to be? What's it going to be? They're taking out her heart? That is not... I don't think that's what you're supposed to be doing. This is really strange, I tell you. What is that coming out of that thing? What's up everyone and welcome back to another episode of my legacy challenge on short lifespan. Now we have a lot to do in today's episode before we actually get started because first of all we have to give Sandra, our founder, likes and dislikes because last time we played those were not in the game yet and also we have to figure out her job situation because last episode we came to the conclusion that the military career might not be the right fit for her since she is a lazy sim and the military career obviously involves a lot of working out so that is not really a great fit. So let's hop into the game and see what we can do. Oh, and also the most important thing, Sandra is pregnant now. So yeah, she is actually pregnant. We have that going for us. Anyway, let's figure out her likes and dislikes. So let's quickly enter create a sim and we'll give her some likes and dislikes. I feel like she likes orange because she's wearing an orange shirt and I don't know. I just feel like she enjoys that. Then maybe she also likes blue and maybe she dislikes brown. Then for music, I think she might be into romance music. Oh, look at her dancing. She is definitely enjoying that. Maybe she also likes pop music and what is something that she dislikes? I feel like she's not the type of girl for metal music. So let's have her dislike metal. Then for hobbies and skills. Okay, now we have to think about this because the fair thing to do would be to dislike fitness because she's a lazy sim so I mean it's only fair to actually do that because it wouldn't make sense to have her like fitness at all so I'm just gonna quickly say that she dislikes fitness and then what could she like maybe she's into wellness we could have her get into like um, yoga and stuff I think that could be something fun for her to do and maybe she also enjoys cooking and what is something that she something else that she dislikes robotics that is not her thing she does not like robotics. Then for decor. Now, this is also going to be important because we will be building a house for her at some point. I'm just going to say that she likes mid-century decor simply because that's what I like and I really want to furnish a house for her that is mid-century modern inspired. So let's say that she likes that. Let's say she likes the basics and maybe she dislikes gothic farmhouse. That is not for her. All right, well, that's that. Now, where were we? She is actually pregnant with Akira's baby. Baby, so he is our boyfriend. Now, let's see. Oh, she's being so sweet to him. Aw, that's really, really sweet. I really hope that we can make the most out of this relationship because their first and only date was really weird. Um, So maybe we should try a do-over and let's propose to him on our second date. I think that's a great idea and I definitely think that we should do that. But now, for now, we actually have to have her quit her job because she is going to be so miserable. So I'm sorry, Sandra, you're gonna have to quit your job, but then we'll find you a new one like right away. Something that makes her a lot of money would be ideal. Okay, now quickly let's find her something else because she can't not earn any money. Like we need her to make money for us. Someone actually suggested last time that we should get her into the interior decorator career. And I think that that would be a lot of fun, but I feel like since this career is so buggy for a lot of people, I'm kind of scared to have her do this career in this challenge because we have to make money quick and fast and we need a lot of it because we need a house. From what I've heard, Sims don't always get paid for their gigs and that is really bad. So we can't have that happening. And also the gigs take up a lot of your time because you're going to travel to their house and the whole like gig it just, it takes a lot of time. So I, I don't think that interior decorator is the best fit for this challenge. So let's see what else we can do. She does actually like to cook. That's one of the likes that we just gave her. So maybe we should have her enter the culinary career. It doesn't make heaps of money from the get-go, but I feel like it's something that she would enjoy and we can practice some cooking. So I think that this would be the right fix. What is something that we have to do for our career? She doesn't start work until Monday and a Saturday today. So that is a little bit annoying.
going, but let's see if we can make some money in a different way. She does need to cook up some food, so let's have her cook something that's not too expensive. Let's have her cook some eggs and toast, and that is something that she can do. Does she need to cook a lot more, actually? Yeah, it says just started, so I feel like we're gonna be here all day. That's fine, though. Well, 50% done. If we just cook something else, we can just save it in the fridge and then eat it later. I feel like that's perfect. So let's cook some grilled cheese. And she's already cooking level three, which is really, really nice. And then since we do have some money, I feel like I could easily just buy her an easel so that she can do some painting as well and just sell her paintings. Because we are living in a tiny, like in a micro home. So she will build up her skills really fast. That's so peaceful. Just a little bit of painting in your backyard or I mean, whatever it is, it's not really a backyard, but you know, it's still nice. It's still nice. Let's have you paint a little bit faster, actually. She's already painting level two. That goes so fast. That's actually great. Aw, this is so cool. A painterly calling. Painterly? I've never heard of that word. I'm also Dutch, so English is my second language, so that might be the reason why. Anyway, should she let the colors flow and embrace that she likes painting? Well, yes, I think that that would be very helpful. Let's sell this to a collector, and we actually made $8 from that. <sighs> Look who's coming over. Look who it is. It's our friend Gonzalo. Well, we can't really just ignore him because he probably already saw us. Well, Gonzalo did take the breakup very well, so they are actually really good friends. Marcus, what are you doing here? You're very much interrupting our conversation. I'm not sure if you realize that, but you're kind of literally in the middle of a conversation that you're not actually part of. And I feel like that's really rude. He's just standing there, not even saying anything. Like it's, it's so weird. Marcus, you're so weird. Since you're already here, Let's just tell him a funny story as well. And then, boys, I actually have to get back to painting because I need to make some money. Since she does not have to work for a couple days, we can maybe go on another date with our baby daddy. I actually forgot his name. What's his name? Oh god, this is so embarrassing. Akira, of course. Akira, his name is Akira. Okay, let's just pretend that that didn't happen. Um, we can actually go on a date with him tomorrow and then maybe we can propose and take a cute picture and maybe also get married or maybe get married the next day. I don't know yet, but just let's see what we can do. But I feel like we need a do-over for that one terrible, that one terrible, terrible date that we had. And she is already painting level three. Why didn't I do this sooner? I hear the festival t-shirts are out of this world. Let's go to the festival and buy one. Well, I'm not sure if I want to buy a t-shirt because I'm kind of tight with money. But yeah, sure. He is asking us out on a date now. So I mean, let's, let's take this opportunity and go with him. I feel like he wants to bond with us and that's a good sign. Let's just, uh, um, caress his cheek. Um, we're at the romance festival. This is a lot of fun. I actually don't really go to these festivals that often. So let's see what we can do. It actually says that we have to buy a festival t-shirt. Well, fine. We'll buy one, but we'll do that later. Jeffrey and Nancy, you guys are here. Look at them. They're being so cute. Anyway, let's see what we can do here. Let's drink some tea together. Honestly, I am so mad today. I don't even know why. Just nothing seems to be going my way. I hope you have something good to say, Sandra, because I need someone to calm me down. Honestly, Gonzalo, it sounds more like a you problem, so I don't really know what to tell you. And also, I'm on a date with my boyfriend, soon to be husband, soon to be father of my kid. So honestly, I could not care less about you being mad today, Gonzalo. I'll just try to be funny. That's not funny. This is serious. Well, you know what? You know what? Go figure it out yourself, because I'm on a date with my boyfriend. Now, this looks like a nice date. Let's uh, blow a kiss his way. Let's just be a little bit romantic, you know, since this is the romance festival and all. Such pretty music. I really like this. Never heard this before. I need to play this game more often. Maybe we should talk to the love guru or whatever she's called, a romance guru, and see what she has to say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sure, sure, fire. There's going to be a lot of fire and romance and just more fire too, which is great. A lot of fire. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, oh, a wise man once said, what is love? Love hurts. Love is love. So go in love. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 okay. Thank you. Let's ask her about our current relationship. See what she has to say about that. Because me personally, I don't have a good feeling about it, to be completely honest with you. Flowers, yeah, we tried that. He didn't like that. Romance, yeah, another flower. Once again, tried that. Okay, okay. I see a back massage in your near future. 
Thanks. Okay, well, that's what we came here for. That's all we needed to know. Now let's see, where is our boyfriend? Oh, he's over here. Let's throw petals because that seems like the appropriate thing to do. <gasps> Are this the festival shirts? They're actually really cute. Look at them. I wanna buy one. There are 25 simoleons. Well, I mean, let's just, let's just do it anyway because we're here now, you know? Let's just enjoy the moment. Let's just be a little bit more like romantic with our boyfriend and let's see. What else can we do? She's actually a little bit hungry, so since we're already spending money, let's haggle first, actually, and then maybe order some food. Oh no, it doesn't seem like she's gonna give us a discount. Are you crazy? I'm already losing money at these prices. Well, I can't try again. That sucks. Okay, well, what is the cheapest thing? Soybeans. All right, well, then soybeans it is. Are you flirting with someone, or are you just in a romantic mood? Because that would be really rude, actually. It seems like he's just being friendly. Is there anything else? we can do here not really is there i really like this music this is so nice oh, this is actually a great place to get married should we propose to him and get married right now no let's wait let's just go on a date tomorrow and then propose and then we'll elope or something maybe i don't know i think the event is over we really need to go home we didn't even say goodbye to our boyfriend but i mean it's fine it doesn't matter it's okay he'll understand we need to get home we need to pee and eat and sleep let's get some leftovers quickly and then we'll call it a day. It's summer. She is not having the best day today. Morning sickness. Oh, I'm sorry, but you'll survive. It's actually her birthday in three days too. She is going to be an adult. This short lifespan thing is so fast. I mean, I know that's the whole point of it, but still. I mean, if we want her to have a second baby, I think we need to get right on it like quickly because she is going to be an adult when this baby is born. And then by the time the second one is born, she'll be on her way to becoming an elder. And I don't know if I want that. Let's just sell this painting to a collector and do a friendly introduction. Who is this lady? Marcus, what do you want? I'm in the mood for some retail therapy. Want to come haggle your heart out at the flea market? No, Marcus. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm not in the mood to hang out with you today. You're so pushy. I don't like it. Look how quick her skill is going up. This is going so fast. It's actually really nice. She's already painting level four. That's what I mean. Like it's, it's so fast. Please stop talking and keep painting because you need to finish this thing and then why are so many people coming to my house what are you doing here <gasps> look at this pretty painting that is so cute let's sell it to a collector okay now i feel like it's time to ask our boyfriend on a date so this is actually exciting because she's going to propose to him and what if he says no i feel like he probably wouldn't but you never know okay where should we go should we just go to the park and hang out at the park or should we go somewhere else or maybe we just want to go to like a little cafe or or something but I feel like we want to go to something a little bit more a little bit more romantic however this area is really pretty with like the pink trees and stuff yeah let's let's actually just go to the cafe and we'll go from there it's raining well that's a mood killer let's hang out with him here anyway let's kiss in the rain that's so romantic let's invite him to feel the baby do you want to feel your baby in my belly sentiment gained you're so fun to be around I really enjoy spending time with you and I hope you feel that way about me too that is so sweet I think that these guys will be fine. Like, I think they'll be all right. They kind of had like a little bit of a rough start, but I think they'll be all right. Look at these guys. They're having a really good time together, I feel like. What I actually wanted to do was I wanted to propose to him over here by the pink trees, but it's pouring down rain. So that is not really, not really the best thing, I feel like. I think we're just casually going to propose inside. It's a little bit weird, maybe, but let's just go for it. I feel like I'm ready here we go oh god oh god here we go I'm nervous. Sandra's proposing. Oh God, I'm nervous. Um, the look on his face is a little bit scary and I am just kind of scared right now. He said yes. Oh yeah, he said yes. That's great. Aw, they're proposed. Yay. It may not have been the most romantic proposal because it's raining like crazy and there is a thunderstorm going on, but you know, it's fine. But Sandra is not doing too well. So let's just end this date early. I mean, it went really well. We earned gold, so that's actually great. Now, let's quickly 
quickly go home because Sandra is about to fall apart. She needs sleep, she needs food, she needs to pee, she needs a lot of things. And then one thing I'm actually not sure about is when Akira moves in, I don't think we're allowed to take his money, are we? I mean, obviously I can just do that because I kind of play by my own rules, but I think that's going to be a little bit cheaty. So I might just not take his money and just have him move in without having any additional money, but it's so tempting. Like I want to build a house. I want to build her a house and start a family. But I mean, that's kind of the whole point of this challenge, isn't it? To kind of struggle a little bit. So yeah, we'll just do that. It's fine. It's fine. Maybe she can finish one more painting. I think that you can do this, Sandra. I think that you'll be fine. Just one more painting before you go to bed. Your baby will be here in a couple of days and we don't even have a nursery. I just now realized this. This is so bad. This is so embarrassing. We're gonna have a baby, but we don't have room for the baby. Oh no, that is terrible, but it's fine. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out somehow and then everything will be all right. Somehow we have less money now than we did at the start of the episode. I'm really bad at this. I'm really bad at gameplay and I'm really bad at this challenge. And I'm so sorry for, for this baby coming into this whole mess and I feel so bad. And Sandra really needs to pee. She's gonna pee her pants. Oh my goodness. This is kind of stressful in a way. Please stop sleeping. She's feeling miserable. It's rebate day. I don't think we'll be buying anything today. And then I think we will have Akira move in with us today. Or at least, I don't know, maybe we should get married. It's again, a very rainy, ugly day outside. But I mean, we need to get a move on. Like I don't have the luxury of waiting for a beautiful sunny day to get married. And it's going to be terrible weather tomorrow again. So. Oh, and then after that, there's going to be a heat wave and it's going to be her birthday already. This is so stressful. Okay, we're getting married. We're eloping today. I'm sorry. We're doing it. We're eloping today. Oh wait, she has to work today. Her work starts in about one hour. Oh God, I was not aware of this. Well, then let's go to work and elope after work. Marcus Flex, I heard that you got engaged. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks Marcus. Once again, you're being kind of pushy. I don't think we ever gave you the impression of wanting to be your best friend in the whole world, but I feel like that's how you're treating us and it's really weird. Please stop stalking us, Marcus. All right, well, off you go. It's your first day of work. Oh, we have bills too. 133, so that is not too bad, actually. She was already promoted 16 an hour. It's, it's really not a lot, but it's something and she got a bonus. That's nice. Okay, okay. So she is now a head dishwasher. Very nice. I'm proud of you, Sandra. Now quickly, let's have some leftovers and finish your painting. These people, they keep calling me. Let's go to the humor and hijinks festival. No, Gonzalo, no, I don't want that. I just clicked okay. Like I said, I'm terrible at this game. I hate to break it to you, Gonzalo, but we're getting out of here. I'm sorry. We're going home. This was a mistake. I didn't mean to click okay, but it seems like I can't read. So there is more important things that we have to do, like finishing your painting. Quickly finish your painting before you collapse, please. Thank you. This one is worth 329. That's actually great. Okay, let's take a nap real fast. Akira is wondering if you want to come over to his house. No, because I actually want you to come over to mine. So let's call him back. Okay, now let's quickly just, you know, embrace him. Let's uh, kiss him. Oh, she's busting for the toilet. Okay, let's, let's, let's just go to the bathroom and then elope immediately because isn't this the most romantic place to get married? This beautiful kitchen, isn't that so nice? And he actually put some dirty dishes on the fridge for the whole aesthetic. And someone is looking through the window very creepily. And Sandra is really tired. This is just a dream wedding. Isn't this so nice? That's not creepy at all. That is not creepy at all. Look at them. They're so cute. They're so happy. And they're finally getting married after dating for two days. It's finally their time to be together forever, which is not very long because their lives won't be very long. Seems like Sandra's excited about it. This takes a long time. Tell you what, move along, move along. Sandra needs to go to bed. Yay, they're finally married. Moving in together. Okay, yes, let's do that. Oh, this was his roommate coming over for the wedding. That was actually really nice. Well, it's fine. He has so much money though, but I can't take any of it because that's cheap cheating. I can't do it. I won't. We're married now. We have another sim to take care of. Actually, let's make some room for him in the bed. Or let's see. Let's see if they can scoot. Will 
she scoot? No, she won't. That's great. Akira is actually um, doing really good. Let's get to know this guy a little bit. What is his aspiration? He wants to collect things. Well, sure, we can do that. He likes painting. They have that in common. He likes blues, really fun. He likes purple and he doesn't like Gothic farmhouse. They have so much in common and I didn't even know it. We need to make some changes to the house because Akira won't be able to actually get into the bed. Let's pop this baby out here again and then they can both sleep in the bed. Akira is not actually tired. He needs a, he already has a job. He's a live chat support agent and he needs to play video games. So I hate to break it to you, but we don't have a computer. So we will go over to like some community lot and have him play some games at some point. But right now I feel like he can go to bed as well, even though he's not that tired. But when does he have work? At 10 in the morning. Good morning, Akira. Let's uh, have some leftovers. He enjoys painting as well. So let's have him paint and make us money because now that we're living together, we can actually make a lot more money, obviously, because we have two Sims now. I feel like not a lot of things are happening in this episode today. Well, we got married, so that's not nothing, but congratulations on getting married to Akira. I hope you two are very happy together. See, I swear to you, Gonzalo is really jealous. He says this, he texts us that he is very happy for us, but deep inside, he is not. He is not happy. I just know, I know him too well. Well, Sandra's off to work. Oh no, we have to pay the bills. This is so embarrassing. Why is our mailbox all the way over there? Let's pay the bills quickly before, well, it was actually already too late, but um, we have power again, which is nice. He also already reached painting level three. See, we have to make the most out of this micro home now that we still can, because as soon as we start actually building an actual house, then it probably won't be a micro home anymore. Sandra has gone into labor. <gasps> But she's at work. You can leave early. Please come home. Go inside and, um, I don't know, have the baby? Have a baby at hospital. I've never done this before. Let's go to the hospital and have the baby. Now, what do we have to do to have our baby here? Check in. Let's check in. Look at him running around. He's being very panicky. While well, we have the baby, let's have him play some games because he needs to do that for his job. Multitasking, I tell you, this is great. We need to come here more often. She's a patient now. Let's see, where is she going? Oh, she's gonna have the baby in here. That is fun. It's happening, you guys. It's happening. We're having the baby. Is it going to be a boy or a girl? I'm so excited. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? They're taking out her heart? That is not, I don't think that's what you're supposed to be doing. This is really strange, I tell you. What is that coming out of that thing? It's a boy. Oh, it's a, it's a little baby boy. I really hope that it's going to be only one baby, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, I really hope that it doesn't give us another pop-up right after this one. Um. Okay, let's see. What should we name him? One, two, three. Miles. Ah, oh, I love that. Little Miles. Thank goodness it's only one. The doctor has prepared the birth certificate. Miles has been sent to daycare. Why? He's right here. Let's rock. Let's talk to him. Maybe we should feed him. Uh, but the baby is already at daycare. He was just here. That's rude. I'm going home. I want to say hi to my baby. That was literally just born two seconds ago. He can't travel by himself. What is this? Our little Miles. He is right here. Aw, oh, look at him. You need a proper place to, I don't know, sleep? Akira, you know what? You can actually just go to work because we need money. I'm sorry. I hate to break it to you, but you need to leave. And then we'll have her change the diaper quickly and maybe feed and maybe cuddle a little bit. But oh my gosh, you guys, we had a baby. We had little Miles. Our first baby is officially here. I'm so excited to watch him grow up. I feel like I'm just going to end the part right here because I feel like that is the appropriate thing to do. And then next time we'll see how we go about money. Because because I feel like the most important thing for us to focus on right now is actually building a house. But yeah, we'll do that in the next part. Stay in the military career or go into a different career. I don't know. I don't know. Let's think about this. So that's actually going to be it for part three of my legacy challenge. Please let me know if you have any questions or suggestions or anything about this challenge or about gameplay or about anything. Please leave a comment down below. I'd be so happy to read all of your suggestions and comments. That always makes me so happy. You can follow me on Twitter and on Instagram if you'd like. My username on there is Simmery Sims. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, feel free to do so. And if you want to be notified of every single time I upload a video, just click that little bell icon and you should be fine. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!